What's up, Bear Nation? I made a comment in a video a few weeks ago when we were in Tallahassee, Florida, that my truck is a truck, it is not a toy. And that concept really seemed to resound with a bunch of y'all. So I figured we would talk a little bit today about what makes my truck a truck, in my opinion, versus what makes a toy a toy, in my opinion. And so, the reason this is important, uh, multiple reasons. First of all, you, I use my truck on the homestead for hauling feed, for hauling trailers, for hauling hay, for hauling livestock, for hauling firewood, for pulling logs out of the way, uh, for four-wheeling around the property, for hauling people and equipment to the range, for grindstone deployments, for construction projects, for hauling construction materials around here, uh, it gets used for truck stuff. And so really that falls into two categories, hauling and towing. And then perhaps the third category for truck stuff is capability versus these toys that you see out there. And a lot of times it seems like it's young men or younger men or men that want to be perceived as young that have a 50, 60, 70, 80, $90,000 truck with the body lift and the big tires and the suspension and the bumper winch and the tinted windows and the salt life across the back or the Punisher skull or the whatever and the blah, blah. I don't care. That truck has never been off the pavement, never. I don't care about your four wheel drive pickup truck with monster tires and a bumper winch that's never been off the pavement. We don't even have pavement out here where I am. And this truck and all of our other trucks spend a large amount of time on things that could not even be considered roads and or in the woods or in fields. And so I see a lot of people fronting with their pickup truck that at best is a grocery getter. And if that's you, do you, man. But I could care less. I am not impressed at all by your $90,000 truck that has never been off-road, that has never hauled a two by four, that has never had an air compressor in the back of it or hay bales or whatever, okay? So hauling, towing, capability. Uh, this truck is a 3,500 HD. So I can put about 3,000 pounds. I've actually put up to 30, just shy of 3,600 pounds in the back of the truck, no problem. Doesn't even know it's there. Uh, I can tow 10 tons with this, doesn't even know it's there. Cool, I'll take it. Um, so towing capacity, both with a bumper hitch and then also with a gooseneck, big wide flatbed. We built these luxurious racks. My brother, uh, the Borg Works, did the sides and I put this lovely, see this is how you know you're flexing. This is an $800 piece of wood in 2021 right here, this one board. So uh, yeah, internet famous is really paying off. I was able to afford this one board. I think it was $797 before tax for this one uh, two by 12 eight so that I can haul stuff in the back of here. I've also got a job box up in the back of my truck that I keep a chainsaw, um, chaps, a helmet, gas, bar oil, two cycle oil, a few carabiners, a bar tool, a pair of chaps, all that stuff, chainsaw stuff up in there. I keep a sledgehammer up there in the front because you never know when you're going to need one. Ratchet straps, blah, blah, blah. I keep rigging on my truck, chains and come alongs and ropes because uh, we need them, straps because we need them. Um, walk around the front with me, bud. Regular tires, regular tires, because I don't, I don't care. I'm not trying to impress anybody, okay? Bumper winch that actually gets used. It's got a 12,000 pound worn winch in it that actually gets used, not only for recovery, lay down, not only for recovery, but also for dragging logs, making firewood, uh, pulling other people out of the ditch. So it, this is not about being sexy. It's about capability. And I have seen too many people with a winch on the front of their truck that the cable is still perfectly spooled from the day it was put on there at the factory. It's never been used, never been tested, nothing. So big engine, bad gas mileage, regular tires, big springs. 
regular tires, pulling capacity, towing capacity. No stickers on the back. No Pro 2A, no thin blue line, no, it's not that I don't believe in those things. I'm just not trying to virtue signal to anybody. No salt life, no Punisher skull, no, none, none of that bullshit, none of that. It's a truck. I use it to do truck things. I'm not trying to A, impress girls I met on the internet because I have a wife and I love her dearly. B, impress my buddies. C, virtue signal that I'm some type of, you know, super American patriot guy. I don't, I, I don't care about any of that. And I am unimpressed by all of that. And so a truck for the homestead should have capability, hauling capability, towing capability, off-road capability. Although this truck is heavy and it is prone to sinking in mud since it's been mud season here in Oklahoma perpetually for the last three years. The other thing to think about here is when it comes to preparedness, why is a truck this size good? Uh, Cause I could put five to six adults in the cab. You know, it's a four door cab. It's got four wheel drive. I've got a bumper winch. I've got chainsaw capability. I can carry lots of extra fuel. I can carry lots of extra uh, materiel, totes and bins and boxes. And I can tow a huge trailer with this full of livestock or people or sleeping quarters or additional capability or whatever I may need. It's not covered with a bunch of virtue, stick, uh, virtue signaling stickers. So it's fairly low profile. It looks like every other farm truck in this area and any other area where there are farm trucks. In fact, I often am driving down the road in my truck and go, that's my truck. And then realize, no, I'm driving my truck dummy. So it flies underneath the radar. Um, it's got a lot of capability but I'm not being flashy about that capability. And here's the last point. These pretty trucks, these 50 to 90, hundred thousand dollar pickup trucks with the body lift and the bumper winch and the extra lights and the big tires and the souped up engine and the, you know, leather seat covers plastered with stickers that never get off road. They've never been pressure tested. You've never found out what type of soil can I drive this truck through? What type of soil can't I? Can I cross creeks with this truck? How much can I actually tow with it? What's my actual capacity? Have you ever put your entire bug out kit in the back of your truck and then watch the whole rear end squat? If in my mind, if you don't use it like a truck, it's not a truck, it's a toy, which begs the question, why do you have it? If you're serious about preparedness, why are you blowing money on that thing? Get something that actually matters. Get you a real truck, four wheel drive, one ton, with as many doors as you can get on it, with as big a bed as you can get on it, that'll haul all the things that you need it to haul, all the people that you need it to haul, that will go the places you need it to go. So y'all asked, Bear, what do you mean when you say it's a truck, not a toy? That's what I mean. I appreciate y'all, Bear Nation. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. If you've been here a long time, please make sure that you're still subscribed. Ring that little notification bell. Share this video to somebody you think might enjoy it. And as always, you can click the little baby bear on the end screen. You can see it. he's up here right now somewhere. That takes you over to Patreon, where you can find the vast majority of our content is on Patreon. And all the exclusive, super tactical, bear answer my questions, I need help, all of that lives consultancy style over on Patreon, over 1,500 videos. If you were to watch one a day, it would take you more than four years to watch all the videos that are on Patreon. I appreciate y'all, Bear Nation. Shalom.